टू स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी स्टडी क्लास नाइन चैप्टर वन मैटर इन अवर सराउंडिंग हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल एन एस पी लर्निंग हब बिकॉज लर्निंग इज लाइफ सो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो वॉट इज मैटर सो एवरीथिंग विच ऑक्यूपाई particles are continuously moving it means they have kinetic energy the particles motion increases with the increase in temperature because when we increase temperature the kinetic energy of the particles of matter will also increase so students there are some experiment to explain these characteristic features of matter for example we take a glass of water and mark water level on it now we add one tablespoon or salt in it and mix well after mixing we see that there there is no increase in the water level because there are many vacant space between them in that experiment suppose it is a glass and that is filled with water at that level and there is many particles of water in this space but they have some space between them which are called interparticle space then we add salt on in it the particles of salt are arranged in this vacant space so no water level is increase in this experiment it means every matter is made up of particles and particles of matter are very small in size the particles have vacant space between them these particles have attractive force and the particles are continuously moving when we add salt they are continuously moving up to down and when we increase the temperature the spoon the speed of mixing of salt in water will be increased students now we start another experiment to show how small are these particles of a matter so take one glass of water and add few drops of ink on it 
and mix it. After mixing, we see the ink is mixed in water very rapidly because of kinetic energy present in the particles of these and also the vacant space in between them and very small size. When we take some water from this to another glass, see this color of blue, blue color of dye is also mixed in it. Now we take some water from this glass to another glass. The color of blue ink are seen in here also. It means the ink is made up of very small particles. When we repeat this experiment again and again, we obtain blue color again and again. It means the size of particles are very small. Now it's a turn for question. Question number one. Which of the following are matter? Students, we know the substance which have mass and also occupy space is called matter. Air, air is matter because it has mass. Love is not a matter. It's a feeling. Smell is not a matter. Chair is a matter. Almond is a matter. Heat is not a matter. Holding is also a matter. Cold is not a matter. Thought is not a matter. Smell of perfume is a matter. Because it is in the form of gases. Second question is, A driver is able to cut through water in swimming pool. Which property of matter does this observation show? This show the property of matter is Interparticle space present between them. The third question is the smell of hot sizzling food reaches you several meters away. But to get the smell from the cold food, you have to go close because the increasing temperature, because of increasing temperature. The kinetic energy of particles is increased. So the smell of hot seasoning food reaches several meters away. So it is because of the kinetic energy of the particles. Students, it's time to know the states of matter. We already know the three basic states of matter which are Number 1 solid, number 2 liquid and number 3 gases state of matter. Now two more states of matter are also discovered which is fourth one is plasma and fifth one is Bose-Einstein condensate. Students, as we know about the energies of these states of matter, the highest energy has plasma because of charged particles present in it and least energy in Bose-Einstein condensate because of rigid nature and the solid, liquid and gas in the middle because of the interparticle force due to the interparticle force in which the energy levels of these states of matter are different. Students, some definitions related to matter are Number 1. Density Mass per unit volume of a substance is called density. It means density is directly proportional to mass of a matter. If mass is more, then density is also more. Number 2. Compressibility The ability of a substance to change its volume on changing the pressure is called compressibility. Compressibility is higher in the state of gases and least in the state of solid. Rigidity. Rigid means unbending or inflexible due to the close packing of molecules. The exception of rigidity is rubber. It can change its shape. Number 4. Diffusion. The intermixing of particles of two different types of matter on their own is called diffusion. 
Diffusion is higher in the gaseous state. Number 5 Fluidity The tendency to flow are matter due to kinetic energy of the particles are called fluidity. The fluidity of gaseous state is very high as compared to liquids. Viscosity It is a characteristic feature of a liquid. Viscosity means resistance to flow. More the interparticle force, higher the viscosity of a liquid. For example, honey. Number 7. Melting point. The temperature at which a solid melt to become the liquid at the atmospheric pressure is called the melting point. Melting point of ice is 0 degree centigrade or 273.16 Kelvin. Boiling point. The temperature at which a liquid is start boiling at atmospheric pressure is known as boiling point. Boiling point of water is 100 degree centigrade. The difference between basic states of matter. Number 1. Interparticle space. Interparticle space in solids are least. In liquids more than solids but less than gases. And in gases the interparticle space are very high. Force of attraction. Force of attraction in solid states are very highest because the particles are very close. In liquids, force of attraction are less than solids but more than gases. And in gases state, the force of attraction are least because of the particles are very far away. Shape. The shape of solids. Solids have definite shape. Liquids do not have definite shape. They assume the shape of container in which they kept. Gases also do not have the definite shape. They also assume the shape of the container because of the kinetic energy of the particles. Next point is volume. Solids have definite volume. Liquids also have definite volume. But gases do not have definite volume. Next point is density. Solids have high density. Liquids less than solids but more than gases. In gases density is least. Diffusion. No tendency to diffuse. But in liquids they slowly diffuse. And gases rapidly diffuse. Rigidity. Solids are highly rigid. Because of close packing of particles. Liquids show fluidity and gases also show fluidity. Next point is compressibility. Compressibility is negligible in the solids, very low in liquids and very high in gases state. Kinetic energy of the molecules. This is least in solid state, more than solid in liquid and very high in gases state. Melting point and boiling point. Very high in the solid state, less than solids but more than gases in liquid state and very low melting and boiling point in gases state. Examples of solids are book, pen, table, chair etc. Examples of liquids are juice, water, tea, cold drinks etc. And the example of gases are oxygen, nitrogen and hydrogen. Students, the fourth state of matter is plasma. Plasma state consists of super energetic and super excited particles. These are in the form of ionized gases. The fluorescent tubes and neon sign bulbs consist of plasma. Sun and the all stars are made up of plasma. The fifth state of matter is BEC means bones einstein condensate. It is formed by super cooling of a gas of extremely low density which is about 100 thousands of density of normal air to super low temperature. Its existence was predicted by an Indian scientist Satendra Bose in 1920. Student, this is time for question. Give reason. An iron almira is a solid at room temperature. Why? Because it has fixed volume and definite shape. It cannot flow. Water at room temperature is a liquid. Why? Because 
Water has fixed volume but does not have definite shape. It can easily flow from one vessel to another. A gas filled completely the vessel in which it kept. Why? Because gas does not have fixed shape and a definite volume. Particles of gas move freely in the random manner and assume the shape and volume of the vessels or container in which they kept. Liquids generally have lower density as compared to solids. But ice float on the water. Why? Because ice exists in case like structure. Due to this, the molecules of water are not closely packed in ice but have vacant space between them. So, ice has a smaller density than water and float on water surfaces. Our next topic is interconversion of states of matter. Solid can change into liquid state and liquid can change into gaseous state by increasing temperature or pressure. Solid can change into liquid state. The, this process is called melting or fusion by increasing temperature. And liquid can change into gases formed by increasing temperature. This process is called vaporization or boiling. Gas directly change into solid state. This process is called deposition. And solid directly change into gases without changing in the liquid state is called sublimation. Gas on cooling change into liquid state. This process is called condensation. And liquid on freezing change into solid. This process is called solidification of the solid. The three states of matter differ with respect to interparticle space only. One state of the substance can be converted into the other by changing the interparticle spaces and also by the interparticle attraction force. Students, fusion or melting. The conversion of solid state into liquid state is called fusion. When ice change into water, this process is called melting. This is because of increasing of temperature. Solidification or freezing. The conversion of liquid state into solid state is called solidification or freezing. For example, when water change into ice on freezing, decreasing temperature by decreasing temperature is called solidification. Vaporization or boiling. The conversion of a liquid state into gaseous state is called vaporization or boiling. When water change into vapor, on increasing temperature is called vaporization or boiling. Condensation. The conversion of the gaseous state into liquid state. When gaseous state means water vapor change into water by cooling, this process is called condensation. Sublimation. Conversion of solid state into gaseous state without changing into liquid state is called sublimation. When solid carbon dioxide change into gaseous carbon dioxide, this process is called sublimation. Deposition. The conversion of gaseous state into solid state without changing into liquid state. No intermediate liquid state is here is called deposition. For example, carbon dioxide in gaseous state when change into dry ice or solid carbon dioxide. This process is called deposition reaction. Now it stands for the question. Question number 1. Naphthalene walls disappear with time without leaving any solid. Give reason. Due to sublimation, naphthalene walls converting into naphthalene vapors slowly even at room temperature. Which gas is called dry ice and why? Carbon dioxide gas in the solid state is called dry ice. Dry ice is converted directly into gases carbon dioxide without changing into liquid state due to sublimation reaction. For any substance, why does temperature remain constant during change of state? This is due to the presence of latent heat or heat in the substance. Students, 
What is latent heat? On heating a solid to liquid, it means fusion or liquid to gas evaporation, the heat energy is used up to overcome the force of attraction of particles without showing any change in temperature. It means at this time the temperature is constant. Since this heat energy is hidden in the bulk of matter, it is called the latent heat. It is of two types, the latent heat of fusion and the latent heat of vaporization. This is the chart of conversion of the temperature and heat energy applied. When ice change into water on melting, sometimes the temperature is constant. It is called latent heat of fusion. Similarly, when water change into steam by the process of vaporization, Sometimes the temperature remain constant and it is called the latent heat of vaporization. Latent heat of fusion. The amount of heat energy needed to convert 1 kilogram solid into liquid state at the atmospheric pressure at its melting point is called latent heat of fusion. This is the latent heat of fusion. Latent heat of vaporization. The amount of heat energy needed to convert 1 liter of water into vapors at its boiling point is called latent heat of vaporization. This is the latent heat of vaporization. It's time for question answer. Why is ice at 273 Kelvin more effective in cooling than water at the same temperature? At 273 Kelvin, ice can absorb more amount of heat than water due to its latent heat of fusion. Hence, ice at 273 Kelvin can cause more cooling than water at the same temperature. What produces more several burns, boiling water or steam? Steam has more latent heat stored in it. Then water at the same temperature due to latent heat of vaporization. Hence, steam will produce more several burns than so boiling water. Atmospheric pressure. The pressure of air in atmosphere is known as atmospheric pressure. At sea level, at atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere which is called normal atmospheric pressure. It means what? One atmosphere equal to 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. Kelvin. Kelvin is the SI unit of temperature. 0 degree centigrade equal to 273.16 Kelvin. Temperature in Kelvin can be changed into Celsius by adding 273. And temperature in centigrade will change into temperature in Kelvin by subtracting 273. For example, convert the 470K to the Celsius scale. Temperature in Kelvin equal to 470K minus 273. It means it is 197 degree Celsius. Convert the 25 degree centigrade to the Kelvin scale. Temperature in Kelvin equal to 25 degree centigrade plus 273. It means it is 298 degree 98 Kelvin. Next topic is evaporation. The phenomena of change of liquid into vapor at any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation. In the case of liquids, a small fraction of particles at the surface having higher kinetic energy is able to break away from their force of attraction of other particles and gets converted into vapors. Evaporation causes cooling. In evaporation, the surface particle leaves the surface by taking heat energy from the bulk of liquid. And hence the temperature of bulk of liquid is decreases, which causes cooling.
that are affecting evaporation the rate of evaporation increase with an increase of surface area an increase of temperature and an increase of wind speed it means surface area temperature and wind speeds are the directly proportional to the rate of the evaporation but the decrease in humidity humidity is the amount of water vapor present in air if water vapor is high in the atmosphere the rate of evaporation is decreases nature of liquids laser the boiling point of a liquid more its tendency to change into the vapors difference between evaporation and boiling evaporation is a surface phenomena whereas boiling is a bulk phenomena it means boiling is occur all particles of the liquid but evaporation occur only the surface molecule of the liquid evaporation is a spontaneous process but boiling is not a spontaneous process evaporation take place at any temperature below its boiling point but in boiling occurs at the boiling point of the liquid evaporation causes cooling there is no cooling in boiling observed why does a desert cooler cool better on a hot dry day because the rate of evaporation is more on a hot dry day due to less humidity a desert cooler cools better how does water kept in an earthen pot which is called matka becomes cool during summer during summer the water kept in earthen pot matka continues to evaporate through fine holes in it since evaporation causes cooling the water becomes cool why does our palm feel cold when we put some acetone or petrol or perfume on it when we put some acetone or petrol or perfume on our palm the particles of these substances absorb energy from the palm and evaporate which causes cooling